guys, welcome to Chrono Canada channel. This is Anat A8. I just uh, figured out my heater doesn't work. Uh, I moved these wires a few times. I see there is a loose part over there. Tried to fix, didn't go. So I ordered new heater. It's just a few bucks for from China. They, these whole parts are really cheap. I know the new motor over here I paid it's 11 Canadian dollar. That's US 8. Something like that. This heater was two or three Canadian dollars. So basically every part it's go bad on NFA8 you can change for five to ten dollars. And stay with me, I will show you how you can change your heater in this 3D printer. NFA8 and I'm sure every other 3D printer similar design they have almost the same thing how you can change that heater. So okay, this is our moving part extruder. This is our nozzle over there down. Heater is exactly beside of the nozzle entering that cube, aluminum cube. To make this heater loose, we just need to lose the, there is a small tiny screw beside of the nozzle. So find this nozzle and unscrew it. I will show you how that look like, just wait a little bit. Okay, so here is it. Ah, it's hard to see on camera. But it's completely small. And that's holding our heater. So pull it out. Pull it out. This is how it look like. I can't see anything wrong, but yeah, it doesn't work. This is our circuit board. You see these marks on the wires? You just need to find the heat end over here. It's completely down on this model, but they change a few models when they production, so I'm not sure it's on the same place. So remove this green. <laughs> you can't see green because of a green wall here. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, it should say extruder heat end. So, extruder heat end. This wire from the control board panel. And now we will put this new wire inside. Okay, when we screw together these two wires, we can connect to the this panel. What where we take off? Uh, I hope I remember same place. Okay, so we just press inside. So our two new lines are here, and everything what we need to do put back beside of nozzle in the same hole where we take it out. Put inside, find your screw, I hope you didn't lose it, and screw it. Okay, so new heater is inserted. This is it, it's a very simple thing to do. If you know where is that small tiny screw. If you don't see it, you will have a big problem to pull it out, this heater, yeah. It's pretty hidden in below. So you see where is that nozzle. And behind of nozzle there is a tiny small screw holding that heater to not fall out. So I find this tool, if that mean anything to you, edge 1.5 is exactly size what you need to use for that tiny screw. Hopefully that video help you with your 3D printer to change your heater if you have that issue of course and um, thank you for watching Crown Canada channel. Subscribe if you didn't do that already. If you like press the like button. If you didn't like just do this. I will try better in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.